What is your never again brand, store, restaurant, or company? I took my Beater Woods truck to a local tire shop for an alignment. They told me they couldn't align it because I had a sticky U joint, and then charged me for an hour of labor because they had to take the tie rods off. I argued because a U joints don't impact alignment and B. There was about an inch of grime on the castle nuts, so there's no way the tie rods came off. They brought out a manager who just made sit up about how alignments work. I am a mechanical engineer. I think they thought they could get away with it because I am female. Nope. I filed a complaint with the state and they were fined for lying about service costs. I bought an engine from AutoZone for a vehicle I own. They had a vendor build the engine, and it was supposed to ship to my house. I waited three weeks for it to arrive, but it never did. I contacted their store, was told that it hadn't shipped yet and was coming via FedEx freight. I kept up with the tracking but couldn't get anywhere with it. I kept calling back every couple of days to see what was going on and no one could figure it out. I finally managed to find out that it had shipped via another company RL Freight, and had been delivered to somewhere else. It was like pulling teeth to get a refund on an engine I never received. It took another two weeks to get the refund. I won't buy a soda from AutoZone now. A bar I went to on my 25th birthday. I got there first and opened a tab to get my first couple of drinks before my friends showed up and started buying for me. At the end of the night I went to get my bill which should have been under $20. Instead, I got a single piece of paper with a total of $85. It did not come with an itemized slip. Edit, for the people who can't gather this from context, that was unusual. All the times I'd gone to the bar before, I got itemized receipts. All of my friends that night got itemized receipts when they closed out. I spent 20 minutes, on my birthday, at the bar, calling out the bartender's name, asking for an itemized receipt while he pretended he could neither see nor hear me. I went home and reached out to management and explained the story to them, including how long I tried to get his attention. Her reply, if you thought there was an issue with your receipt, you should have asked the bartender to explain it to you. Never again, case anyone cares. It's Penn Social in DC. Edit, since this seems to be coming up a lot, this is America. So not chip and pin. They won't serve you unless they first swipe your credit card. I could not simply leave without paying. It was going to be charged to me no matter what. My experience with disputing charges is that it's not super convenient. So I was really hoping to be able to deal with this at the bar without having to do that. So please don't be one of the 337 people who have told me I would have just left. Edit. Thank you for the silver, kind stranger. If anyone else wants to do the same. Please donate the money to a charity instead, or just give it to a homeless person. Chilies. I don't know how this even happens, but I was served fried chicken that was cold and literally had ice on it. Frontier Internet. They're one of the cityest ISPs I've ever had. I will never go back, no matter how cheap it is. If I see something is being shipped by on track, I'll cancel. The three times they were the delivery company from Amazon, they lost one package completely and tried to say it wasn't their fault. The second package was also deemed lost but then showed up on my doorstep something like six weeks later. The third time it sat on. Shipping label created for a week and I just contacted Amazon and cancelled the package. You don't find a lot of positive reviews out there and any positive ones you do find seem like they were written by the company via a fake account. Facking it and tea it's one thing after another with these assholes. They've been taking $60 a month from my checking account for the last 7 months for a prepaid phone that I don't have. They can't tell me why or take me off auto draft because I don't have a phone number to look up the phone that I don't own. Just spent almost an hour at the bank trying to dispute this it. It's just the most recent in a long list of factory caused by it and T. Those twats. Panera. They raised prices and shrank their portions a while ago. Not worth it anymore. Wayfair delivered a wooden table that had a huge split on the side and was broken where you put the leaf to extend the table. Got four re-deliveries and every single time it was the exact same table with the same damage. Eventually got a full refund but did they seriously think that would work? Make zero sense to me. Bonus. Ordered a bedroom set around the same time and paid for delivery and assembly. The assemblers were two-thirds through the assembly and told me they couldn't finish because they couldn't understand the instructions. Had them take all the stuff back and also got a refund. Spirit Airlines. Never again. 
fact them flight from Vegas got cancelled. They don't even bother trying to put you on another flight, not only that you have to pay extra for the next flight available. I told them they can go fact themselves and I want a refund. The customer service person told me he can refund me spirit credit, that when I lost it. After enough bitching, he gave me my money back to my credit card and I bought a flight on Delta. Tony's Pizza Palace Edmonton, Alberta, Canada September 26, 1986 was the day I buried my infant son. He was 11 months old and died from complications due to being born 3 months premature. His twin brother is healthy and got married 3.5 years ago. After returning from the burial ceremony to the funeral home we went out to our cars and found flyers tucked under the windshield wipers. Having a family get together? Why not have it at Tony's Pizza Palace? Ask about our group discounts. Edit, I thought I should add this. Tony's happens to be one block away from the funeral home, three blocks from the second biggest hospital and about ten blocks away from the second biggest shopping mall in the city. All of which are in a straight line. I figure some 17-year-old kid, working part-time for Tony's was given a pile of flyers and asked to put them on cars at the mall. The kid, not thinking, saw all the cars and probably started at the funeral home, then went to the hospital parking lots and was probably out of flyers before he even got to the mall. I seriously doubt anyone in management or perhaps I hope that nobody at Tony's was aware that this happened. But it happened on a day that I won't forget and I still haven't gotten past it. 1800 flowers fact them. They waited several days after I placed an order for Mother's Day to tell me that they wouldn't be able to fulfill the order. They waited until the day before, putting me in a bad position. Now I google my mom's zip. Add flowers and have a few choices. I call the local shops directly and Q1 1800 flowers is cut out of the process. TurboTax did my return, got a notice that my e-file needed to be corrected, log back in to fix it in my return WAS and there any more. Six hours on the phone with three tiers of tech support, each one trying exactly the same thing. Finally they were just trying random sit, so I tried random sit in parallel, managed to get to my return with the invoice number from paying for the service without logging in. Tried to get them to understand that this was a very bad thing that they should report to someone and they told me they had no access to anyone technical and no way to submit bugs. This from the company that lobbied to make it illegal for the government to offer tax filing service. Tim Hortons quality is gone. They no longer have in-store bakeries. The coffee blend is god awful. The menu is huge. The speed of service is horrible and the way the owners are treated by the franchise is just disgusting. They need to stop trying to do everything and get back to focusing on what made them great. Edit, as a former Tim's baker I'm glad to see I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. Thanks for the silver and platinum kind strangers. Comcast Fat Comcast They failed to turn off my service when I changed addresses, billed me for two more months, sent me to collections, and harassed me for three years. I could sue but it not worth the stress. Edit, holy crap my inbox additional info. I called them about this more than a dozen times and every time escalated the situation. They have dozens of tapes of us albeit a few of them I am absolutely freaking out about the whole thing on the phone. My best experience was when I called their corporate office directly, but even then it was a sit show and like a week before anything happened, and I was still being harassed by collection companies somehow. Never again. Kaiken, a little Mexican restaurant in my area. They had a bunch of tacos on their menu, all of which listed cheese and white sauce as ingredients. The fish tacos didn't, so I ordered them and didn't bother specifying that I didn't want cheese or white sauce. Well, they came out smothered in both and I couldn't eat them, so I sent them back. The waiter came out and made a huge show of interrogating my husband about why she meeting me, sitting right there across the fucking table. Fully capable of speaking for myself sent back the food, and told my husband that it wasn't the restaurant's fault that she didn't just assume that the tacos would obviously come covered in ingredients the menu didn't mention. When I said that he should be talking to me, the one with the problem, he said that he was only comfortable talking with the one who would be paying the bill. I asked to speak to the manager, and as he was leaving to get him, I very clearly heard him call me a bitch on his way out. The manager backed up his sexist prick of a server, so we left without paying, have never gone back, and have told others not to go fact that place. Ada this was in Pennsylvania. Sorry, not comfortable being more specific. Comcast. A door-to-door -door salesman straight up lied to my dad, 
saying they had a 4 DVR setup it would cost less than what we were paying AT&T. When the installation guy got there, he said that no, they didn't have a 4 DVR setup. He was told to give us the standard 2 DVR setup, which was absolutely not something that would work in a house with 6 people with wildly different tastes in TV shows. So my dad tells him never mind, we're sticking with AT&T then. But because the Comcast guy had already installed our new cable box, he couldn't take it back with him, so we had to mail it back to Comcast ourselves. The kicker is, five years later Comcast tried to bill my parents for the cable box, saying we never sent it back. My parents insisted they did, and Comcast wanted the UPS receipt, which obviously we no longer had because it was five years ago and we hadn't heard anything from them before this. So my parents refused to pay. Comcast sent a collections company after us, and when my parents explained the situation to the collection company, they were like those fackers, we'll take care of this. That was, thankfully, the end of it. Is it me or every brand is in a process to reduce costs, making products and services of bad quality, losing the original magic, and even rising prices to the point where it is scam to buy the product again? Edit 1, spelling. Edit 2, this blow up. Edit 3, thanks kind stranger. Grouches. Brizen. When I called to cancel because I was switching to AT&T prepaid, they insisted that I had the pricing of my new plan wrong because it couldn't be so cheap. I pushed back and ultimately got the rep to cancel my plan or so she said. Two months later I get a bill for my Verizon plan and they claimed I wasn't eligible to get it refunded. She had actually just put my account on hold for a week, so on my end it looked like it had been cancelled. I had to report them to the BBB to get my money back and they will never get my money again. There is a burger joint here, relatively new less than 5 years that some people swear by. It's a weird kind of burger though, a kind of spicy gravy style burger. But not like your grand's gravy, it's rather tangy, vengery, whatever. It was odd, so I tried it on my lunch break recommended by a co-worker, and thought nay, I don't get the hype, but it's not terrible. Then I went back to work. And shortly thereafter all hell broke loose. I had the most volatile, violent, unsolicited and certainly non-consensual colon cleanse of my life. I was so obviously tore up that not even my manager made a stink about me essentially doing zero work for the next four hours of the work day. To this day when I pass by that place I say never again. My wife thinks I'm making a stupid dad joke I won't give up on she's aware of what it did to me. But for me it's more of a solemn prayer. Edit. To do this change to to this day. Not sure how I typoed that. Edit 2. Okay fine. Company name is Mojo's Calf. Local business. Hence the hesitancy to just outright say it. But there you have it. Olive Garden. First the meals got city and I could deal with it. But then the Alfredo sauce did too and that where I draw the line. Messi. Got a credit card through them to buy a suit. My parents offered to pay the card off as a birthday present. Two months of them calling me five plus times a day asking where the payment that had already been made was harassing me to make more and larger payments when it was finally paid off they then tacked on a completed payment fee and never sent a bill so the whole damn thing started all over i was genuinely about to file a lawsuit over harassment or something it was unbelievable because i would tell one person the payment was made and then get four more calls the same day asking the same thing then rinse and repeat tomorrow